What's up guys, Eric here from Decasode TV and today we're doing a real life speed test between the iPhone XS Max 512 gigabyte version and the Galaxy Note 9 512 gigabyte version. This is the best that Apple has to offer and the best that Samsung has to offer. Now the reason I call this a real life speed test is because most of the speed tests you're gonna see online test things like opening a bunch of different games at the same time. They'll open up six, seven, maybe even eight games, then they'll transcode a bunch of videos, and the average person's never really gonna do that. You're not gonna have more than maybe two games open at the same time, and you're definitely not gonna be transcoding files all the time. So while those tests are great to tell you how each device handles under extreme stress, they're not really gonna tell you how each device handles for day-to-day -day usage. So that's what this test is for. I have a bunch of applications that you're gonna use every day. Things from web browsing to note taking to email and I do also have a couple games in there and it's basically just a bunch of stuff that your average person is gonna use all the time. One more thing I need to point out is that I did a ton of things to make this as fair of a test as possible. To see a full list of everything I did, check out the write-up I have in the description. So with that introduction out of the way, let's get started. The way this test works is I'm going to open each application one by one on both devices at the same time, and I'm gonna keep a tally at the top for which device opens the application first. Now, if they open really close, like within a quarter of a second of each other, I'm not gonna award a point to either device because a quarter of a second could be the difference in time that it takes for me to touch one screen versus the other. I'm also going to be reviewing the video frame by frame when I put the tallies up. So if there's any point at which I thought one device opened up an app faster than another device, but I was wrong, the tallies are gonna reflect which device actually won. Then once we open all the applications, we're gonna go back through the opposite direction and see how many are left open in RAM. And I'll have tallies at the top to see how many reloads each phone has to do. Obviously the less reloads, the better. So first things first, we need to make sure that neither phone has any application open in the background and they don't, so we're good to go. Starting with settings, uh, super close. That might've been faster on the iPhone. Really not sure, definitely gotta check the replay. Native internet browsers. Okay, Okay. yep, so the uh, video started playing first here on the iPhone, so that's the uh, winner for the native internet browsers. Next we have the native email apps. Okay, it looked like that was faster on the Note 9. Next up we have the native calendar applications. That was so close. Uh, one, I have no idea, and two, it really doesn't matter for day-to-day -day use. Calculators. Yeah, again, so fast that it really doesn't matter for day-to-day -day use. Here's the first game, Mario Run. Okay, looks like that might be faster on the note. Yep, just a little bit faster on the note. Native app stores. Ooh, man, that was so close. I really don't think it matters. I'll, I'll check the replay, but uh, I don't think either of these is gonna get a point for that one. Regal Cinemas. Oh, again, so close. I think these literally loaded at the exact same time. So uh, probably no point there either. Amazon Shopping. Uh, oh, okay, so I think the note, so the note definitely loaded most of the images first, but this top piece here, uh, the deliver to Boston section, I think loaded last on the note. So take that for what it is. I don't really know if I can award a point to either of these for this one. Next up, we have one note. Okay, definitely faster on the note nine. Next up is Redbox. And okay, faster on the note nine, but not by much. Next we have Spotify. Oh, wow, that's barely faster on the Note 9. I definitely gotta check the replay. I'm not even sure if it was faster on the Note 9. Okay, Frigidaire application. This is for a smart air conditioner. Looks like the Note 9 might win this one. Yep, Note 9 wins this one by a decent margin. That'd be noticeable. Okay, Bible app. Yep, looks like that was uh, just barely the iPhone first. Something had to shift afterwards though, so I definitely gotta see the replay to see which one loaded first. Again, I don't think it's really gonna matter for day-to-day -day use though. Uh, unless you had these two devices right next to each other, you wouldn't really know which one loaded first. Uh, for this one, you would know. Uh, <laughs> this is a to-do list, and that loaded first on the Note 9. Next up, we have Excel. Okay, faster on the Note 9. This one by a, a pretty decent margin. After that, we've got stock twits. This is like Twitter for stocks. Okay, that was faster on the Note 9 as well. 
Next up we've got Philips Hue, some smart light control. Okay, that was faster on the Note 9 by a little bit. Now we've got YouTube. Again, faster on the Note 9. Twitter. Faster on the Note 9. By a decent margin, actually. Wow. So it looks like social media applications typically seem to be doing better on the Note versus the iPhone. Next, we've got Zillow. Okay, faster on the Note 9 again. Also by a decent margin. Pages Manager, another uh, social application, faster on the uh, Note 9 again. Clock Apps, uh, maybe faster on the Note 9. That definitely doesn't matter. That was so unbelievably close. Netflix, faster on the Note 9. And we've got the Native Phone Apps. Okay, that was uh, faster on the iPhone. The Note 9 did seem to take a little bit longer to load that. And now we've got Dropbox. Okay, faster on the Note 9 by a little bit. And now we've got the native camera applications. Okay, that was faster on the iPhone. You could tell because this little image loaded first uh, before the image on the, uh, the Note. And now we've got Movies Anywhere. Okay, faster on the Note 9, by a considerable margin there. And Auto Trader, faster on the Note 9. And last one, Asphalt 9. Okay, looks like this is going to be the iPhone here. Yep, iPhone first, and the Note uh, eventually makes it in there. Uh, it wasn't terribly slower, but it was definitely slower on the Note. Okay, whoops. Okay, now we're going to go backwards through and see how many are left loaded in RAM. So first up, Auto Trader. I anticipate that both of these are going to do really well. The Note has 8 gigs of RAM, so it's uh, probably going to keep most, if not all, in. And then if you've seen my other speed tests, you, you'll know that the uh, iPhone 10 keeps pretty much every application in RAM, except for maybe one or two. Uh, and uh, all right, so now we're on Dropbox. Phone app. Yep. Netflix. Yep, both loaded. Both of them are opening the uh, applications extremely quickly, which is great because on uh, older Samsung devices, they would take a really long time to load the application. Even if it's loaded in RAM, there'd be quite a delay from the time that you push the, the button to actually having the, uh, the application open. So, and you can still see that there's a bit of a delay there compared to the iPhone. If, the iPhone, if they both have it loaded in RAM, the iPhone does tend to open the application a little bit faster than the Note does. Okay, back to YouTube. Good, they're both still loaded with all of these so far, which is kind of what I'm expecting. Okay, Excel. Okay, first reload on the iPhone. Wait for that to finish loading, and then we'll go on to the next one. Okay, now we've got uh, to-do lists. Bible app. Frigidaire, yep, still loading on both of them. Spotify. Okay, so we've got a reload on the Note. Redbox, another reload on the Note. So right now the uh, iPhone is ahead as far as reloads go. One Note, another reload on the Note. Amazon Shopping, yet another reload on the Note. So the Note 9 with the, uh, with this 8 gigs of RAM, this is the 512 uh, gigabyte version, doesn't seem to be faring much better than the, uh, the uh, 128 gig version uh, of the Note. So that's that's kind of surprising. I definitely expected this to be better with RAM management uh, than the other one that has 2 gigs less RAM. So I don't know what Samsung's doing here, but uh, this is definitely not performing as well as I had uh, anticipated. Yeah, and then you got another reload here for the game. So the iPhone's definitely ahead as far as reloads. That's There's no doubt about that. Okay. And we've got a uh, calendar. All right, looks like that was a reload on the Note. Email applications, that was another reload. The good thing about these types of applications is they load so fast that it almost doesn't matter that there's a reload. Um, but I guess for accuracy's sake, that definitely was a reload on that last one. 
Okay, another reload here. It didn't look like there was a reload on the iPhone. I kind of missed that. Definitely got to check the replay there. And settings. Okay, and another reload on the Note. So uh, I think the, the takeaway here is that regardless of which device you get, both of them are gonna open applications comparably as fast as each other. There's only a handful of applications where the Note 9 really opens it a lot faster than the iPhone. For the majority of them, they're really closely matched. And as far as reloading applications go, both phones are able to keep at least 20 apps open in RAM at the same time. And so your average person probably isn't gonna be rifling through 20 different applications per day. So at the end of the day, regardless of which one of these devices you get, I really don't think you're gonna notice much of a speed difference between the two of them. I mean, technically speaking, if you open a ton of applications all the time, you're some superpower user that uses you know, 40 plus applications a day, then you're probably gonna have a faster experience with the iPhone because it will be able to keep more of those applications open at a time. But for the average person, it's really just a toss up. At this point, there really are no bragging rights for either device as far as speed goes. And you should really just go with the operating system you prefer instead of trying to find the fastest device. So let me know what you guys think about these results down in the comments below. Were you guys as surprised as I was that the Note 9 didn't really perform too much better with eight gigs of RAM versus six gigs of RAM? Or were you kind of expecting that? I'm wondering if a future update will make this Note 9 better with RAM management. I mean, it's got eight gigs of RAM, so I really expect it to be able to keep all of the applications open and it just couldn't. So if during a future update, I notice that suddenly I can keep all of these open in RAM at the same time, I'll definitely revisit this test. But at the same time, as I mentioned earlier, it really doesn't matter whether you can keep 20 or 25 or 30 applications open in RAM at the same time, your average person just doesn't use that many applications in a day. So bottom line, from this point moving forward, speed tests really don't hold as much value in general because both devices are so closely matched. And even if you could see a difference between how fast they open applications, they open apps so quickly and they can keep so many open in RAM anyway that it really doesn't matter for day-to-day -day use. And we definitely need to start focusing more on other metrics besides just the speed of a device to really determine what's gonna be the best device for you. As always guys, like the video if you liked it, share it if you loved it, and subscribe to see the rest of my upcoming coverage. And while you're at it, smack that notification bell so you can be the first to know when a new video drops. That's it for this tech episode. God bless guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.